Welcome to the spoken tutorial on how to use Perl module library that is CPAN. In this tutorial we will learn to use existing modules and create new modules in Perl. To record this tutorial I am using Ubuntu Linux 12.04 operating system, Perl 5.14.2 and gedit text editor. You can use any text editor of your choice. To follow this tutorial, you should have working knowledge of Perl programming. If not, then go through the relevant Perl spoken tutorials on the spoken tutorial website. Modules These are code files that contain common routines that are written by different authors and can be used by several programs at a time. CPAN Perl is an open source language and anyone can contribute to Perl standard CPAN library. CPAN has thousands of ready to use modules written by different authors. The official website of CPAN is www.cpan.org. We will take list colon colon util as an example and see how to use it. This gives me access to the functions which are already written inside this module. Switch to the terminal. Type Perl doc list colon colon util. You may get an error saying you need to install the Perl hyphen doc package to use this program. This indicates you need to install the Perl hyphen doc package. Do so using Synaptic Package Manager. Please refer to the relevant Linux spoken tutorials on the spoken tutorial website. What you see here is the documentation for the list colon colon util module. Note that the documentation contains description of the module, example of how to use it, and an overview. Hit the Q key to exit the Perl doc viewer. Next, we will see how to use list colon colon util module in a Perl program. Let me open a sample program exist underscore modules dot pl which I have already saved. In your exist underscore modules dot pl file, type the following code as displayed on the screen. Let us understand the code now. Use list colon colon util tells Perl to find and load the module list colon colon util. QW function extracts words out of the string using a delimiter and returns the words as a list. It is just a quick way of declaring an array. While importing a module, it imports only the subroutines specified in the list into our program. It contains general utility list of subroutines. The module will export its subroutines and variables into our program. The most popular subroutines available in list colon colon util are first which returns the first element in the list max. This returns the highest numerical value in the list max str returns the highest string in the list. Min. This returns the lowest numerical value. Min str returns the lowest string in the list. Shuffle. This returns the values of the input in a random order. Sum returns the numerical sum of all the elements in the list. There is no need to write separate source code for each functions. We can just make use of these available subroutines in our program. These are the inputs I am passing to the function max, min, sum and shuffle. And these are the print statements. Now press Ctrl S to save the file. Let us execute the program. Switch back to the terminal and type Perl exist underscore modules dot pl and press enter. Observe the output. In random number you may get any value between 0 and 51. Next 
we will see how to create a new Perl module and add it to CPAN. Below are the steps to create a module. Create a place to develop the module. Create skeleton files for the module. Document the module. Write the Perl code. Write the code for testing. Distribute the module in CPAN. Perl is distributed with a program called H2XS which is used to generate files for a new module. Math colon colon simple specifies our module name. This is used to generate the directory which should clearly identify the module it contains. Basically, it creates skeleton files for the module. Hyphen P, A, X are options that omit, auto load and auto generate. Let's create a new module math colon colon simple. It will be provided with simple functions add, subtract, multiply and divide. Let us switch to terminal to execute the h2xs command. Type h2xs hyphen p a x n math colon colon simple. The h2xs program generates all these files required to distribute the module. Let us change directory to math-simple. Note the directory path on your machine. It may be as math forward slash simple. Type ls to list all the files in the directory. We can see the following files. The changes file is where we will keep track of changes made to our module when we write new versions. LIB subdirectory contains the module. Manifest contains a list of files in this directory. Makefile is a Perl program used to create a Unix makefile. We will use this makefile to test and install our module. Test scripts will be in T subdirectory. The tests are simple Perl scripts but with a .t extension used for unit testing. Simple.pm is our module. All these files are generated automatically when we execute the h2xs commands. Let us open the simple.pm file. Change the directory to lib forward slash math. Now we will open the simple.pm file to see the existing content. Type gedit simple.pm. What we see here is a documented functional Perl module that does not do anything. We have to write the required functions in this file to make it to do something. Add the below code after the text preloaded methods go here. Here we will add four subroutines add, subtract, multiply and divide. Now press Ctrl S to save the file. Now let us create a sample Perl program to test our code that makes sure it is working properly. Let us open the test file math-simple.t under the subdirectory t. Type gedit math-simple.t Add the following code after the existing code. Insert your test code below. The print statements will print the output. Now press Ctrl S to save the file. Let us run the test script. Type Perl math-simple.t and press enter. We see this error message because the Perl script cannot find simple.pm in its directory. It should look inside the lib directory. How can we rectify this error? Let us see a few options for this. At the rate inc is a special variable that contains a list of directories. Perl modules and libraries can be loaded from these directories. This line of code tells a Perl program to add this directory path to its at the rate inc search directory. Alternately, 
we can add files to at the red inc at runtime using hyphen i option. Now let us switch to the terminal. I will execute the program using the hyphen i command line parameter. So I will type perl hyphen i lib t slash math hyphen simple dot t. Here is the output as expected. We have tested the module and it is working fine. Final step is to distribute the module. The general procedure for installing module is to run these commands. Installation involves copying files into the Perl library directory. Most of us don't have permission to copy into this directory. Since math-simple is not a very useful module, I am not demonstrating the installation path. This brings us to the end of this tutorial. Let us summarize. In this tutorial, we learn to use existing modules, create new modules and how to use in the Perl program. Here is an assignment for you. Use the text colon colon wrap module. Make use of the wrap function which wraps the input text to form neat paragraphs. Text colon colon wrap module has a variable columns. Set the columns value to 30. Print the text to see the formatted output. The video or the following link summarizes a spoken tutorial project. Please download and watch it. The Spoken Tutorial Project team conducts workshops using spoken tutorials and gives certificates on passing online tests. For more details, please write to us. Spoken Tutorial Project is funded by NME ICT, MHRD, Government of India. More information on this mission is available at this link. This is Nirmala Venkat from IIT Bombay signing off. Thanks for watching.